Evinrude E-Tech cranks but won't start refers to when an Evinrude outboard boat motor's crankshaft turns but does not start the engine. In other words, the E-Tech won't begin to work or it won't turn on. This video is going to detail the main reasons why an Evinrude E-Tech motor will crank but will not start. Now, if you're going to be working on your boat motor, I highly recommend that you download a repair manual for it. And you can download one at 911manual.com. And basically, you just uh, click on where it says Marine Manuals. Then click on where it says Johnson Evernrude Manuals. And then just find the repair manual for your motor and you can download it instantly. Now a repair manual is going to have critical specifications, it's going to have diagrams, step-by-step -step repair procedures, it also has a, a great troubleshooting guide. Um, so basically anything you need to fix on your motor, it will guide you through it. Okay, moving on. Number one, stop circuit grounded. Check wiring and emergency stop switch. Check the safety lanyard is installed and stop circuit is not grounded. Number two, tiller models. Is it in gear? Make sure the outboard is in neutral. Number three, no fuel. Check for fuel in the fuel tank. Number four, water in the fuel. Check the fuel filter. Sample fuel from fuel return manifold. Number five, contaminated or poor fuel quality. Check or replace the fuel. Number six, fuel supply restricted. Check primer, anti-siphon valve, and fuel pickup. Use primer to fill vapor separator with fuel. Number seven, air in the fuel system. Check for air in the fuel supply manifold. Refer to fuel system, vapor separator, venting, and fuel supply section in the repair manual. Number eight, low or no fuel pressure to injectors. Check fuel manifold pressure. To know how to do this, you can refer to the fuel system section in your repair manual. Number nine, incorrect, fouled, or worn spark plugs. Replace the spark plugs. Number 10, fuel injectors not working. Check voltage at injectors. Number 11, excessive fuel or oil, engine flooded. Check for leaking injectors, leaking fuel or oil lift pump, or leaking vapor separator vent. Refer to your repair manual under fuel system to know how to do this. Number 12, low or no 55 volt alternator output. Check voltage on 55 volt circuit. Refer to system analysis and electrical and ignition in your repair manual. Number 13, capacitor or 55 volt circuit wiring. Check capacitor and 55 volt circuits. Refer to system analysis and electrical and ignition in your repair manual. Number 14, ignition. Check ignition or test the ignition. You'll need to refer to the system analysis and electrical and ignition section in your repair manual. Number 15, CPS input to EMM no sync. Check RPM reading while cranking the engine. Number 16, no ignition system control signal from EMM to ignition coils. Check cranking RPM. It should be a minimum of 300. Refer to system analysis for more information in your repair manual. Number 17, low or no compression, check compression. Number 18, water in engine, check condition of spark plugs and cylinders. Number 19, internal power head damage, check and repair the power head as needed. Number 20, leaking cylinder, crankcase, intake manifold or reed valves, check and repair everything as needed. Number 21, EMM program, timing, or operation. Check EMM program and timing. Number 22, 
Neutral switch on tiller models. Check neutral switch operation. As mentioned earlier, it's highly recommended to download a repair manual from 911manual.com as you will need it in order to properly check and test your motor. Anyway, if your Evinrude E-Tech engine cranks but will not start, the most likely problem lies in one of the details that was mentioned here. Hope you found this helpful.